I'll be honest, there's a lot of white people in this crowd, and I feel good about that as a comedy professional. I feel like that means upward movement in the career, you know? <laughs> you see the leather hat, I do the black rooms, but this is good. I went to a private school, so I have a lot of white friends. I'm like the quintessential token black friend. Literally, I have like, a lot of white friends and I'm always their only black friend. A lot of brothers, they don't like being the token black friend. Look at the white homie like, hey dog, is this for homework? Are you gonna write an essay about what we did today? Is this for a class? But me, I'm on the other side of life like, damn, out of all the brothers in the world, they chose me. Swag, you know? I'm their LeBron. There was a black friend lottery. I was a number one draft pick and I took my talents to Caucasia. Don't know what we're clapping for, but let's do it. No, but, I mean, come on, guys. You, you hear me. I'm enunciating. I use big words. If you don't like me, you're a racist. It doesn't come in a safer package than this. If black people were sushi, I'm California roll. I'm safe. Start here first. Get used to this. Then go to the hood and have that wasabi. <laughs> you got to pace yourself. He seems cool. I'm having a good year, yeah. Like, I'm really having a good year. Um, no kids. Um, <laughs> no fumbles this season. I didn't drop any, drop any seeds. I've been giving those eggs the Heisman. Yeah, I have. And it's tough because, you know, safe sex requires discipline to choose the option that feels not as good. You know, like, <laughs> they don't tell you that in high school when they're putting the condom on the banana. This is safe sex, but unsafe sex feels way better. <laughs> Safe sex is like eating a Starburst with some of the wrapper on it. <laughs> like, it's good, but if that wrapper wasn't on it... <laughs> I'd rather have raw yellow over papered pink any day. <laughs> Just like, talking about candy. Uh... <laughs> Uh, just celebrated my uh, two-month broke-up anniversary. I don't know if you guys celebrate the broke-up anniversary. It's like your anniversary, but the opposite. You celebrate your emancipation from the asshole. <laughs> Me, I treat like Independence Day. I take off work. <laughs> I barbecue her old belongings. <laughs> I do fireworks in the backyard. This was me the other day, I promise this. I hate you. Here's the thing, she smothered me, y'all. She was too into the relationship. I take a selfie, she's like, stop. It's ussies, we take ussies. <laughs> pilot, co-pilot. We're in a relationship. To the point where if we were walking somewhere and I walked too fast and there was too much space in between me and her, she would stop. Are you one of those? Hey, I'm back here. I mean, I know we're going to the movie, but I'm all the way back here, here, here. Bitch, did you add an echo? <laughs> she, I was like, can we just, you know, walk faster and catch the trailer to the movie as well? I like that part. But at the same time, me and her started watching a show together on Netflix, House of Cards. You know it. Crack in episode form. We watched episode one together as a couple. Episode two together as a couple. Episode three together as a union. It was great. It was a great weekend. Then Monday comes, we get back to our grind. Monday night, go over to her spot, turn on House of Cards. I see all these checks. I see all these checks. I see all these goddamn checks. This bitch is on the next season behind my back. <laughs> these hoes ain't loyal. I was pissed. If we were engaged, I would have broke it off. I can't do this. I can't share my life with a skipping ahead ass bitch. You're a skipper. How are we gonna raise a kid together? I'm in one room, potty training. You're in the other room, giving them condoms because you're a skipping ahead ass. <laughs> and there's nothing worse than watching Netflix with someone who's pretending to watch it for the first time. They already watched it behind your back. They cheated on you with new plot and character behind your back. But they say they love you. Either way, either way, they play it off at first. Everybody's watching the episode. This is good. Yeah, it is, babe. I, I haven't seen any of this coming. This is a really good one. <laughs> they really did their thing. 
All of a sudden, some random stranger walks on screen. She's like, oh, shit. What are we oh shitting right now? We don't know him. That's an extra as long as I know. Oh, I just had a feeling. Bitch, that's a memory. I'm James Davis. Thank you very much.